Thanks for joining us for your news at six. The death toll of Americans in Israel has risen to 22 tonight. All 17 are still unaccounted for. That's according to the State Department. An Israeli Defense Forces spokesperson says that that fighting will intensify. Tonight, the war in Israel coinciding with a rise in anti-Semitic rhetoric here in the Midlands. This week, residents in the Lake Carolina community in the northeast part of Richland County woke up to find flyers despicable, hateful flyers with anti-Semitic speech in their driveways. Nick Neville is live on this story for us tonight. Nick, I know you had an opportunity to speak with neighbors there who are understandably upset by what is truly a shocking experience. Yes, that's right, Judy and Greg. So shocking and disgusting were some of the words that they shared with me, and we want to note that we're not showing these flyers due to their graphic nature. They come just weeks after a similar incident in the low country, and as the De Anti-Defamation League, which tracks anti-Semitic incidents nationwide, says they are at record high levels. Hate speech targeting the Jewish community arriving on the doorsteps of dozens in Lake Carolina this week in the form of anti-Semitic flyers placed in plastic bags. I was pretty disgusted when I opened it up. We shouldn't be talking bad about our neighbors, and especially not somebody's religion, their, their skin color, anything like that. The Anti-Defamation League says there was a record number of anti-Semitic incidents nationwide last year, with almost 3,700. That's the highest total since the ADL began tracking this back in the 70s. People feel more um, empowered to do this publicly, and I can't quite tell you why. I can tell you we're very concerned about it. In the Palmetto State, ADL data shows that anti-Semitic incidents were up from 6 in 2019 to 44 last year and jumped by 193% from 2021 to 2022. I stood to support and defend the Constitution, and that's, what, that's why I'm so offended by this. I, there's no place for hate, not just in Lake Carolina, there's no place for hate in South Carolina or the United States. Democratic Representative Beth Bernstein, the only Jewish member of the South Carolina General Assembly, says this type of rhetoric is stressful and scary to her and says it illustrates once again why the state needs to pass hate crimes legislation. South Carolina is one of only two states without such a law on its books. Although this type flyer would not be considered a hate crime per se, it can escalate to a hate crime. And we need to make sure that South Carolina is not a place, is not friendly to crimes that are um, initiated just because of someone's race, gender, religion, whatever it may be. The hate crimes legislation has failed to pass after multiple attempts. Bernstein is imploring her Senate colleagues to act when they reconvene in January and take another step to show that this type of speech will not be tolerated here. Live in the studio, Nick Neville, WYS News 10. All right, Nick, thank you for that update. We should also include that RCSD has not said if these flyers were distributed by folks in that Lake Carolina community or if they believe that they are from some people who are outside of the area.